daily from 10 o'clock for that. Let's turn our attention to something else that's happening uh, this weekend, but should it be happening this weekend, don't go to a swimming event at Borsey Country Park this weekend. That is the message from Kings Lynn and West Norfolk Borough Council. Also, the message coming from those who run the park itself. Uh, there is a wild swimming event planned on Sunday, despite the landowners banning the activity. Uh, the advertising online, uh, the organisers uh, uh, who are called Right to Roam, have come up with an assessment of Borsey Pit, uh, stating the myths of its dangers. But the Borough Council says some of that assessment is wrong. Let's talk more about this uh, with uh, Sandra Squire, who's a councillor, and uh, joins us now. Sandra, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for having me. So we've got repeated warnings not to swim in Borsey Pit, that the Borough Council's against it, the park's owners are against it, but there is actually an event planned for Sunday. How has this happened? Um, I do wonder myself sometimes. Um, the Right to Rome group have organised it, stating that yeah, the dangers are myths. However, we all know that there have been four deaths um, in those lakes in the last 10 years. Um, and not just those, there have been other incidences where there have been near deaths, where people have been pulled from the water. It isn't a safe place to swim. Um, the lakes were created for quarrying and the dangers are clear, the cold water and everything else. So we don't really understand why you would organise an event there at all, really. So, so as far as you're concerned, the, the, these dangers, they're, they're not myths. What, what are the dangers? What, what, what have caused the difficulties of Borsey Pits in the past, would you say? Well, the water, because it's so deep in areas, is very, very cold, even in summer. Um, there are areas in there where there are sudden ledges and sudden drops. So although you can go in at a relatively shallow end, you carry on, you can suddenly drop into what is very, very cold water, which causes cold water shock, which we know kills people. There are also weeds in there. We know that the weeds have been a contributory factor in at least one of the deaths. Um, generally, it, it's not safe. So if, I think one thing that a lot of people will be struggling to understand here, Sandra, is that the council doesn't want this to happen. The, 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 lands, the landowners don't want it to happen. Why can't it just be stopped? It's very difficult in that um, I'm told there is a covenant on the land for it to be a country park that has to allow public access. But public access only applies to the land, not the water. Swimming has never been allowed at Borsey Pits because it's a quarry and because of the dangers. It's not set up or adapted for swimming at all. There's no lifeguards and people do put their own life at risk. But it's the landowner have been known in previous events to ask people to leave where they've refused and without getting the police involved. And they tend to only... Um, a, turn out if it's a breach of the peace so it's very difficult to stop people if they are intent on doing it there are even signs up aren't there we've talked about this before um saying or urging people not to swim deep water it says no public access yes exactly the signs were put up there after the deaths and to try and warn people of the dangers but um some people just don't agree with that Speaking of which, we often talk about events like this, organised exercises, as a really good thing, don't we? A positive thing for health and, and well-being. And, and wild swimming is often put forward as, as a great example of that. Why, why is this different? It, it is. And wild swimming is fantastic, getting out there in our natural waterways for you know, physical and mental health. But not here. There are other places where it is safe. There are other swimming lakes around the county and in Suffolk, and we have the coast that certain areas are, are just not safe we would rather yes get people out swimming in the outdoors having exercise but not here we're going to talk later on to somebody who's swum there before and uh, she says that, that actually events like this should be embraced because what they do is, is they are more organized they do uh, embrace and encourage safe swimming and and if people are doing it that way it's better than people just just going in by themselves and being irresponsible is an organized event like this better than than just people going in there by themselves and swimming would you say that's it's a yes and no answer to that really it's if it's an organized event and they're probably going to be keeping an eye on everybody and keeping them safe however they put their own lives at risk and if someone does get into difficulty then others put their lives at risk to go and rescue them but it's not just that event on that day that is the issue. It's you know, people who attempt to copy them 
on a different day, people who hear about it and say, oh, well, it must be safe so I can go and swim and they're on their own. And they can't rely on rescues because there aren't any trained lifeguards. There might be no one around. So it is just discouraging people from taking risks when there is going to be no one around. So it's not just that event that is the issue. It's you know the ramifications of that and the message that sends to other people who may not know the risks, who may not know about cold water shock and people who come from different areas that aren't aware. It is just the message that it sends is the problem. And we just want to effectively, you know, we don't want any other family to suffer a tragedy like the previous four families. Four is too many. Just interesting listening to what you're saying there. One, th one thing that, 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 that's occurred to me, Sandra, is one of your concerns is there are no lifeguards there. It, it looks like that this event is going to happen on Sunday, whether uh, that the council likes it or not. D could you arrange for some lifeguards to be there if, if this is one of the concerns? Oh, oh, that's a million dollar question, isn't it? We don't actually have any lifeguards apart from you know, the swimming pools. And it, the dangers are present whenever there is anybody there. So we would much rather nobody swim in that lake for the safety. Thanks for joining us this morning. It, it's, it's certainly a, a curious one, this, isn't it? Um, that is uh, the, the councillor, Sandra Squire, joining us there from uh, Kingsland and West Norfolk Borough Council. Uh, we have asked the events organisers uh, about this. Uh, the organisers are called Right to Rome. We have a statement which says swimming is an essential part of the Right to Rome campaign. Uh, the swims have been uh, called for by experienced outdoor swimmers who've taken the lakes hazards seriously. Previous swims have taken place with no adverse outcomes. So the organisers of this event on Sunday, Right to Rome, are determined to go ahead with it and think they'll be able to do it safely. Uh, there is a clear warning, though, from Kingsland and West Norfolk Borough Council and the landowners, those that own the park it, itself, uh, urging people not to turn up to take part in this wild swimming event on Sunday. What do you think? Is it, uh, it's a curious situation, isn't it? I'm not sure I can remember one like this before, where there was an event that's being advertised and being organised and the local council is telling people not to go to it but doesn't seem to have any powers to actually be able to stop it from happening. What do you think? 0800 389 7321 if you want to give us your thoughts on this one. You can text us on 81333 